Thomas Hanna defined sensory motor amnesia as a habituation of a stress response. We reflexively withdraw inward to protect ourselves. That's called the red light reflex. Or we move outward, forward motion. That's green light reflex. Or we twist and rotate to avoid or to compensate. That's called the trauma reflex. Now, these stress reflexes are full body. The most basic principles of clinical somatic education is that when there is tension in the center of the body, it can often be felt in the periphery, in your legs and feet, your arms and hands, your neck and your head. And plantar fasciitis, which is a painful foot condition accompanied by heel pain and inflammation of the plantar fascia, is a classic case of sensory motor amnesia. Most current fixes for this condition address the foot in isolation from the rest of the body. They stretch, they're different special shoes, you use ice, shockwave therapy, things like that. <laughs> and when you think about the old children's song, the foot bones connected to the knee bone, the knee bones connected to the leg bone, it says it all. We are connected as a system. Pain in the foot reflects an imbalance in the center of the body. Now, those suffering from plantar fasciitis generally show up with a habituated trauma reflex. That's one side of your body is tighter than the other. And this muscular reflex, it, it's an imbalance that hikes and rotates one side of your pelvis. Your pelvis is somewhat twisted. And you may also feel tension on one side of your back. Now, when this, these reflexes, this green light reflex, the twisted and rotated pelvis, the trauma reflex, become habituated, your gait changes. And you start to walk like a car with one flat tire. The legs function differently right to left, and one foot lands much more forcefully and heavily than the other. The gait pattern itself contributes to heel pain and tight fascia. The solution? Well, it's to learn how to release the tight and shortened waist muscles on one side, as well as the co-contracted waist muscles on the other side, release that tight back, and restore balance and symmetry through the pelvis. When you do this, the legs and feet will be much more able to function evenly and efficiently right to left. If you currently have plantar fasciitis, also consider your history. It's really important. Have you ever had an accident, a one-sided surgery, a fall? Do you engage in a, a repetitive one-sided activity? Do you always stand on one leg and sink into one hip? How might this be contributing to the discomfort you're feeling in your feet? Your movement habits are a goldmine of information. So now, now that you have a little bit of background, let's get started.